kind of uh, shit. What was I saying? <laughs> Oh, what up, baby? I know I said I was going to do the ship thing today, but I got distracted. Uh, I found out that Red Power, Blue Tricity, has a, uh, a Buildcraft conversion. So, given that I already have a decent foothold in Blue Power, Blue Tricity, I am going to set up a quarry. A Wumbo quarry. It's huge. But we got our Blue Electric Engine here very simple we have our quarry mm. that's gonna go down right here four chunks loaded whatever that's cool uh oh maybe I shouldn't do that yet oh, do I have to let me go double check that it's been a while since I've messed with build craft, but I have uh, I have detonated my fair share of engines in the day. Combustion engines, mm. exploding all the time. But uh, that won't be a problem anymore. It's gonna work. It's gonna work now. Set this guy up here. And then... Yeah, well... Hmm. I kind of want a control panel up there, but... I guess if we'll be coming down here a while anyways... I forgot to turn Skype off. Oh well deal with it. Alright. So we'll route this power up here. Down there. Up the snow. Can't put it on ice. It's gonna have to stop. So it runs on blue tricity. It doesn't seem to be too big of a power drain, so I shouldn't have much of a problem with it. Shouldn't. We will soon find out, though. juice now. Blue light. Blue light. Come on. Yeah. Alright, so now we need a chest.
I think it will deposit into that. I think. Oh yeah. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna clear out all that crap. No, oh, that's the that's the stuff it's gonna take. This won't be too bad. Oh wait a minute. How is it blasting that? Oh, that's it's not good. It might eat the side of my house. Hmm. If it goes any farther, it's gonna have to stop. Son of a bitch. I guess that's what we're doing. Never mind the area I set up. You just do what you want to do. That's fine. Uh oh. What the balls? No! Oh. Handle this problem, Enderman. By me hiding. Progress. Yes. Pretty sure I'm not gonna hit my cave either. My jar cave. I should be alright. Oh, you shasty bastard. Alright, alright. Just wait. Aha! Predatory lunge. Yeah. Problem solved. And I got an ender brew. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to help out a little bit. All this waiting. It is sucking up items, though. So, success there. <sighs> oh, yeah, it won't be long. That thing's gonna be gone. Uh, in, in its defense, though, I should have probably put it higher up, but I don't know how big it was gonna be, so... Yep. Forgot about that. Alright. Pretty. So yeah, just imagine these coming down from an airship. It's not going to wreck anyone's building unless they build with wood, but... Still. Pretty fucking sweet. Grenades. Mm. Still kind of upset that that didn't happen. I made it 64 by 64. Any other day I would take you prisoner, buddy, but wrong world. Yeah, I made it 64 by 64. And it didn't 
want that, I guess. Sorry, it's Corey's loss, not mine. I'll be just fine. Although I was gonna kind of look forward to seeing this whole thing get ripped open. Oh well. It's not like we're gonna live here for too long anyways. So while that's going, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on the ship. Yeah, it's actually getting stoned now, so... Cool. Let that keep going. Discard these. Return the items. Well, no, I don't get enough. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get started on the engines. Oh. All right. You can go there. You can stay. You can chill there. Keep you. And yeah, whatever. And I think I want to use chiseled basalt bricks. And for those of you who don't know, Red Power introduces micro blocks, which can be uh, cut from other blocks. So we'll take a chiseled basalt brick, cut it into slabs, then we can cut the slabs into panels, for some reason I thought covers were before panels. Because I think panels are the ones that don't stick. Covers are the ones that do. Alright. So we got covers. More panels. Yeah. Covers and panels. So we'll keep that like that. And we'll go get what few battery boxes we have. And blammo. Alright. So we'll start with the far engine. And, uh, what's gonna happen? Oh, I need my screwdriver. That's all you need. Building an airship, a screwdriver will do. So I'll take that. And I should probably grab the frame movers. Uh, we'll grab them all. Alright. So, I, uh, I know there are more compact ways to do this, and perhaps more effective ways of doing this. I, uh, I don't understand those computers, so I... I'm doing it this way, but there's uh, like control systems and all that crap, so there does exist better ways to do it, but this is the way we're doing it. So, can't really see that one, but that wheel looks like that when it's facing that direction, so yeah. So what's going on here is a uh, basic inchworm drive, right? If you know anything about frames, you know the inchworm. It pushes the lower one, gets redstone first, as well as the blue power supplied from the boxes. It'll push this top motor over here, which will then place it underneath this arm coming off the frame, the main chassis. Once it's there, it will receive a current, redstone, as well as maintaining a charge from that and still having a charge from there. There's going to be bat boxes in a 3x3 three three here. So then, being in this position, 
it will push everything over a block and essentially return to the position it's in now but everything is going to be over a block yeah that's pretty much how that works so we'll have one there one there one there and one there that will cover our uh, horizontal movement and for the vertical we'll have this kinda we'll have the down, there'll be one here, that'll be the main, that'll push the center one down to there which will push everything down again and then same thing up there but with ups instead and uh, this thing is going to be backed by a 3 by 6 and that will pretty much connect almost directly to the solar panel array which will be above this but before that gets moving I want to get everything constructed here uh, honestly I should probably work on this first because that'll define the ceiling so I calculated that with this and the platform above it we'll need six blocks and that's what we got here so hopefully I can math and uh, that'll be correct we'll find out so I should probably start paneling and covering all this. Well, no, because I don't know what's going to be in here. If we utilize some of this space for for chests and all the likes, then, yep, looks like that's going to have to wait. But, yeah, I thought I had more things to do on there, but that was, pr well, I guess I could put the motors in place. We got our main interior stuff here. That should be enough. If not, the volcano is just back there out of render distance. So it's just a boat ride away. We'll go ahead and load up our directional ones here. Perfect. So yeah, we have exactly enough motors to provide the, the movement engine with, you know, the ability to be complete. So, if we want any superfluous structures, then we're going to need more. Such as the winch that may be underneath this. Kind of dead, dead center. And that will probably be a bit of a hassle to set up. I've never done anything like that. But I think it's definitely something we need. Like not even not even because we need it, just because it's a ship and it kind of needs something like that, you know? It just feels shippy. And I don't recall if I covered the the turret idea that we had. But Another thing that comes with uh, with red power are deployers, which they're pretty much uh, dispensers. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but you just uh, load it up with whatever you want used. And this can be tools. Well, I guess it, they're more advanced than dispensers. You can put uh, you know bone meal in here, and it'll it'll bone meal plants. It'll pretty much anything you can use, it will use. And that excludes some things that come with mods. But yeah, so we got our elementum in here. Ba -pow. It'll just shoot out like that. And I've been playing with a few different gun designs, but a 3x3 three three of this, you know, obviously shoots a, a cluster of 9, but the six lower shots will hit and then the other three have a chance of kinda scattering 
And I'm wondering if a, a 3 by 4 would produce two scatter bombs, two, two salvos of three scatter bombs. I haven't tested that yet, but that would really kind of improve. I mean, because this trajectory is limited to that right there. They're not very explosive, but, you know, doesn't often hit anywhere different. I mean, same place every time, so. Not very impressive. Well, I mean, I guess it's impressive. It's accurate, but accuracy might not be what we need. We need uh, versatility on a ship. Oop. So this is getting drained now that it's nighttime. Corey, let's check on that. I can't really see what's going on with the water, but if it hits lava, it'll be covered, so we'll leave that how it is. But yeah, there we go. Slowly but surely, this thing is coming into fruition. But we are going to need a lot more resources. Yeah. I think for each battery box we need roughly a stack of Nicolite. We need a lot more of the solar panels as well. I think each one's half a stack. So this is going to be a really expensive ship. And uh, we're going to need to protect it appropriately. So we're going to look into materials for what's the most blast resistant. Maybe a force field is what we need. We're gonna be doing battles and stuff. Maybe that's what we should get. Just a nice, nice force field. I don't know. I'll probably play with that sometime between now and the next episode. But let me let me see how much this stuff costs again. This uh. Alumentum right here. Three Fractus, six Ignis, and six Potentia. That's right. Each one cost, I think, two coal and three cobblestone. Just raw items, that's what, it, that's, that's what you'll get. Yeah, because two and no. Okay, how much? Okay, three coal, yeah, three coal, and three cobblestone, but it produces that rock element that both of these have, Saxum, and that's the byproduct. However, we have more than enough Alembics to cover that in, in small amounts. So, mass producing it shouldn't be a problem, provided we have coal. And I still need to check on charcoal and see what properties it has. Because if that's the case... If it has the same properties as charcoal, or coal. Oh, well, it's just got tree instead of rock. So, I mean, we'll have two different byproducts. But charcoal's. Charcoal is uh, renewable, so. So is cobblestone. So it, we, we can produce it. That won't be a problem. So I guess the fact that, yeah. I guess it, it is realistic to produce it. Maybe not mass produce it, but definitely churn some out. Because what'll happen with this is I'll throw this material in there. Alright, so that was cobblestone with a fractus and a saxum. So three went in, and we have three of each element, one on each cobblestone.
So by throwing coal into here, yep, we have uh, three fractus, three ignis, and three potentia, as well as the saxum. I, I, I said that in a weird order, but aside from oh, aside from the rock, the saxum, that's the materials. So, if I grab my wand, ugh. we're getting too settled in here. It's going to be a hassle to pack up again, but it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so when I click upon this, I receive one alumentum and we produce six of this. Each of these containers holds 16, so that gives us room for 64 overflow before we get some corruption going on. Oh, cool. If you look down at the bottom left corner, you'll see that A is 73, that's what it always is, and F says none. So it's purified itself. Cool. That tree was worth investing in space. However, that one is still corrupt. So I, I guess it just purifies itself. But I know I, I see this, this thing and then there's there's one over there somewhere that shoots little balls at, at, at the tree. And then the tree gets corrupt and I don't know what's going on ever. I... I I, I guess this thing loses the A, which is stuff, and then, yeah, I, I don't know what the hell, see, like, this is what I'm talking about, I don't know what the hell is going on here, so if you guys know what it is, please let me know, because, I, I, yeah, I've been, I don't know, I, no idea, anyways, so it may be, realistic for us to have cannons supplied with this stuff. Which would be cool. I did find out, however, in an explosive accident that this stuff can't be fired downwards by deployers. Which is kind of saddening, because I thought that'd be awesome to, you know, just pepper the ground with that stuff right below it, like a, you know, like a bomber. We can always use TNT, but I just I wanted to use this stuff and uh that won't be happening. But uh I don't know. Probably gonna have to make a nuke or two and have a way to drop that down. Yeah. Alright. If you guys have any ideas for weapons weaponry or even even auxiliary devices, uh you know, tractor beams, anything. Whatever you think would fit on this ship. You know, I'm not going to pretend to know everything about all the mods, but... You know, I've, I've, with what brainstorming I've done, I'm... Getting close to the end of the ropes with creativity here. I've thought of, uh... Uh... Cannons. Like, uh, troughs that are built... In the... In the ship and uh, dispensers, not dispensers, but deployers, you know, will create one wall. For example, these will be deployers aimed inwards. This one will deploy a source block. These three deploy TNT. And then, obviously we got one here. Well, it would have to be up. So this one would, you know, drop a TNT. And then we'd obviously have our traditional signal. And this is just basic cannon. I know I can make better cannons. You guys know that. You know, so, like, I... I we could have mounted traditional cannons. It's, it's definitely possible. It's definitely feasible. And it's something I've considered as well as an alternative to the, the elementum guns. What else? Um, obviously the winch to lower and raise people. I've thought of using, well, instead of using regular frames, using these T-34 
tube frames. Yeah, using tube frames, not frameies. Tube frames, and at the bottom of the the platform, which never goes away, the uh, the arm attached from the ship to the platform has tubes. So on the platform would be uh, something that could feed the the tubes items. You know, kind of. Oh. But yeah, I mean, if you guys have any ideas as well, that'd be sweet. But, uh, that's the progress so far. And a lot of Nicolite. Alright, back to work. Peace, baby!